the good and the beautiful recently released signs for little hearts and hands spark and stars guys i am so excited and today i'm going to be sharing with you guys my first impressions and a little bit of a flip through i love making these types of videos i have other ones on my channel already and i could not not make one for sparks and stars so if you're ready to see this flip through just keep on watching my name is Gina and I'm a Canadian homeschool mom of three kids. We currently live off grid in the middle of nowhere in the Canadian wilderness. I love sharing all things homeschooling, our love for Christ and off grid adventures. I'm a strong believer that the greatest legacy we can leave our children are happy memories. So come along and join us on this amazing journey. Okay, so here are the two books that come with the signs for little, little hearts and hands, spark and stars. So you have the parent guide and then you have the big book of science stories. Now I apologize if there's a little bit of noise in the background, hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. Uh, my husband's doing some construction work and then the kids are here, so you can imagine. But I only had time right now to film, so hopefully that's okay. So I apologize for any noise that you might, might hear in the background. Okay, so here is the parent guide. I haven't taken a look at it yet, guys. So this is my first impressions. We're just taking a look at this together. Uh, there's the table of contents. There are 30 lessons in total. Okay, so you have the about the course. So I'll tell you a little bit about it. It'll tell you what's included in the course. It's nice for you to read this just so you can kind of have an idea of what to expect. You have the lesson overview and it just goes over how to go about using the lessons. It talks about the big uh, book of science stories and then you have the audio narration here as well. There's a password here, so I'm just covering it up here and they go over the activities and just, you know, overall safety. You have frequently asked questions, so it's important to read that and they have an activity supply list, which is nice because you can uh, go over what you might need for the different activities here. Uh, of course, it's always optional. I like uh, doing the activities just to kind of tie in the curriculum all together with fun activities. It continues, so it kind of gives you an overview. Okay, so the good and the beautiful uh, from what I've heard and from what I've read, it's important to do this science for little hearts and hands in order because it builds upon the concepts. So um, it recommends that you do, you know, lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. So definitely go in order. So the first one is states of matter and they have a opening here. Sometimes it's some type of like icebreaker or um, way to tie in the lesson in fun different ways. I know there was sometimes there's like poetry in the beginning and just like a fun activity sometimes like very simple. And then for this lesson here, you see that there's an experiment time. So there's little simple experiments that you can do. So, um, if you keep on going, it goes, so you have the experiment time, it's two pages. And then um, there's an optional activity to make a treat. And then there's discussion questions that you can go over with your kids. So I have three-year-old, a five-year-old, and I have a nine-year-old, almost 10-year-old. Now my son, my oldest, does participate with us. And sometimes I'll build upon the lessons for him. I'll find something online. I'll use IXL Learning, which I most likely will have a coupon code for you guys. I use this as like a guide for my oldest and I build upon it. So you could definitely, you know, have all your kids participate in this if you would like. Atoms and molecules. And then this is where you would get the story time. It tells you to grab the science story and you're going to be reading. There's discussion questions. There's an optional activity that you can do as well. So a lot of fun activities. This is geared for like the younger elementary age. So you're looking around, you know, preschool all the way to grade two. For this one, Force in Motion, it always starts with an opening, uh, but it also has the audio narration and there's these game pieces in the end over here. So there's audio narration pawns. It tells you how to assemble them and you use it for this little activity that they're going to be doing as you know, you hear the audio narration. So it's almost like, you know, it's a hands-on activity that you can do 
while you hear the audio narration and I've been really enjoying it. For the first little hearts and hands that they came out with, Fields and Flowers, they actually had the video. Let me know down below because I'm curious. Do you prefer the video lessons or do you prefer the audio narration? What is your favorite part about Science for Little Hearts and Hands if you have, you know, used it? I'm gonna be honest with you, I really like the video lessons. Let me know down below if that's you too. And I really like the first one, the topic of it. I think it's more me than anything else. I love learning about flowers, about, you know, spring. It just reminds me of spring and I really love that. So I'm definitely taking out, you know, fields and flowers um, curriculum out in the spring. You know I will. Okay, so <laughs> gravity, we're gonna talk about gravity. So you see here that yes, it's, sparks and stars, but there's very many different topics in this curriculum. It's not only about planets, but planets are coming. Okay. Electricity. I love this. I love this. You know, you guys, I love off grid, right? So this kind of stuff is just right up my alley and you have your story time here. You have the, you have the story time and then you have story time again. So some lessons, it has story time. Some of them have experiments. Uh, here you have magnets. So you have experiments very different lessons, but also very open and go. Okay. That's the whole point of this curriculum is to make science easy. So we're going to do space travel, satellites, and rockets. How fun is that? There's a little rocket ship template. I'm not sure what you're doing here, but it sounds like it's a fun, uh, experiment. Yay. <laughs> My kids love experiment and it seems like there's a straw involved as well. This is going to be fun. The sun, we're learning about the sun, Mercury, and I think this is where we get into the planets, right? So uh, there's there that's, there's the little games with the games pond, the audio narration, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and it's nice because you're learning about the planets and you're gonna have different elements to each lesson. You're gonna have the story time, you're going to have you know, the audio narration. So it looks a little bit different, but also very familiar as you go through each of the lessons. So I really like that. So right here you have, this is a poem. Yeah. You have a little, uh, is it listen to the riddle below? Look at the planet song at the bottom of this page to figure out which one is Saturn. Okay. So like lots of fun activities, very age appropriate for those early years. Uh, you have Neptune. So you're going to learn about all about these different, um, planets. Now, if you want the good and the beautiful has, you know, their, uh, curriculum that is geared toward third grade to eighth grade. I believe they have different science units that would go really well with this one. Some of them that I'm thinking about here is the planet one they have. I, we did that one. Um, what's it called? Space unit. Oh man, I can't. <laughs> I can't think right now. So the space unit, that's a really great one. If you want to pick that one up, uh, we did that one. It was so much fun. There was the, uh, there's simple machines. I can see that going into here. Um, the weather one, I'll put a list here of, you know, different, uh, unit studies that I would recommend from the good and the beautiful that, that could go along with this. If you have older kids to maybe even build upon these concepts. Okay. So asteroids and meteoroids, so much fun. You have comets. So we're going to go really into all those topics that go, that are surround, you know, sparks and stars <laughs> as, as the uh, title of the um, unit study is. So the moon. And then we have poles and auroras. I love this. I have this like little... Um, this space kind of night light that my kids love and we always put it on solar power. This is the one I'm very, very excited for because we, we are on solar on our land. So, uh, definitely a fun topic for us to include, um, in our studies. And it's just so nice that it's here. Did you hear that? So I think we're talking about sound this and there's experiments. I love that play an instrument. So there's going to be different, how to make an, making an instrument. So there's going to be different fun activities here. Simple machines, the good and the beautiful has a unit study all about simple machines. 
wonderful way to include that or in the future for you to like kind of almost like build upon this concept with the unit study from the good and the beautiful that they have for grade three up to eighth grade. I really like the new units from the good and the beautiful. It's been amazing. So mortar, motors and engines, farm machines. Let's see what else we have. Airplanes and things that fly. So you see here how the topics are so diverse. Cars and trucks, trains. So we're even getting into that a little bit, you know? Um, I really, really, really like how they're, how this, my boys are going to love this. Float or sink. <laughs> it's going to be a fun activity. Okay. And that is the, that's the, um, that's the parent guide. Okay. So after we have the big book of science stories, so these go along, it'll tell you when to read this with each of the lessons. Okay. Not every lesson is going to have this, but a good amount of the lessons do. And I love, love the way they've been doing their books. So I'm going to give you a little bit of like a little look inside of it, like a little peek inside of it. Okay. I'm not going to go through all of it, but just so you can kind of get an idea. Okay, so you can um, kind of see, you'll see that the stories are not super short, okay, but they're very, very, very um, intriguing and they're very uh, well put together and fun. I've, we've been really enjoying the stories. So um, from the past to uh, Little Hearts and Hands, and there's always like a fun fact about um, you know, whatever topic you're, you're going to be learning about. And I really like that because it almost like brings everything together. So I've heard that this is not going to be the last science for little hearts and hands. There's going to be one more coming out. I don't know the details yet, but <laughs> I'm super excited. Let me know down below what you think should be, what it should be the theme or the topic for the next little hearts and hands. Should it be more about like animals or maybe the human body, health? I don't know. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. And that link will just let the good and the beautiful know that I sent you. Okay. So if you use my link, I'd so appreciate it. Uh, no, no pressure. <laughs> Only if you want to. Uh, they came up with some new board books as well for, for toddlers, which are amazing and one of our favorites. So you'll see here. So definitely something that you might want to add into uh, your order if you're thinking about placing an order. I'm excited about solar energy. That's one I'm excited about. The mystery of the missing motor. So fun. I think my kids are going to love this. Let me know down below what you think of it. Just giving a little bit of like a little peek inside of it. Sorry, guys. I feel like this flip through is not the greatest. <laughs> I've done better ones. But anyways, you can kind of see, gives you an idea of how that's going to look like. Okay, guys. So that is the flip through first impression of the new science for little hearts and hands. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. It was super fun for me to film these types of videos. It's one of my favorite ones to film. So hopefully this helped you out to see if this is a good fit for you guys. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.